Hey guys, Spartan Jess here, and today I wanted to present to you UNSC Fleet Battles that a uh, cleanser of noobs and myself have created together. And today would be right if I didn't have them with me. Why, hello there. My name is Cleanser of Noobs, but you can call me Cleanser. <laughs> Cleanser's been a buddy of mine for a, a while now, and we've actually been forging a couple of maps together for, God, how, how many years have we been doing this, man? You know, at this point we should marry. But um, it's it's been it's been a good while. Who's the one to uh, get on the knee? I'll get on my knee for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on both knees. Oh, thanks, man. Whoa! Cut that out! Cut that out! <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we we've we've been back and forth with uh, forging for a bit. I believe our first meeting. The viewer cares to get into our life story. I think our first meeting was uh, me taking a look at your city map and like talking to you in the comment section. No, man. Uh, I think. Our first meeting together was you posted on Facebook and you actually wanted people to try out your city new Mombasa map. Ah, uh, yes. Halo lives on. And uh, that's how we actually started to get to talking and that's when we started becoming forging buddies. That is correct. Good times. Good times. They still, they still go on to this day. So the idea of this map was to essentially have a Star Wars Battlefront 2 space battle kind of theme but with halo in mind so we wanted to make it balanced and we knew we couldn't do that with a unsc versus a covenant ship so we decided to make it a mirrored pillar of autumn kind of map mm -hmm. whatever 343 implemented the sabers and the uh campaign falcons there was no way that we couldn't really make this map so we wanted to do a space battle map we have the sabers which are insanely powerful so we had to try to i guess counteract that with other sabers and grenadier falcons as crazy op as they are they could actually have the chance to stun sabers out of the sky and to have some kind of gameplay inside the ship we have goss cannons on the side of the bottom ships good for shooting down falcons and doing just a little damage to the sabers. Not too much. I think it takes about four or five shots to take out sabers. The main objective here is to get your bomb from your team, get into a Falcon, and take it to the enemy ship and blow it up. It's just that simple. Yeah, it's basically Combat Evolves boarding action. Uh, just more fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, what's great is that this map actually became a staple map in the custom game browsers game mode. I think it's called Air Wars now? Is that right? Yep, I've seen it a lot on that game mode and other maps, kind of like my uh, Invasion Fleet Battle map. Other people have made their own little spaceship battle maps, kind of inspired by this one from what I believe. I wonder if Air Wars is somehow related to Halo Wars. I think Green 4 made a video of this map and actually got it pretty well known. I think it's around, what, 50,000 views? Something like that. I, th I think he really only focuses on evasion maps. Ah, I see. Well, I mean, technically, you know, if we're going to be technical, this is sort of an invasion map. Just, you know, more basic. Invading the enemy ship. <laughs> it's a pretty ambitious project. Yeah, it, at the time it really was. I remember we ba a basic design down, and then we had to try to like mirror that with the objects. I remember we had one that was kind of like semi-built. We had to painstakingly figure out what's the proper distance where the goshawk range can can still reach the ship. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> if you go too far, the goss goes out of range, which is something I never knew. I, I also remember whenever we were even building the second Pillar of Autumn ship, uh, <laughs> we actually used a teleporter. So we had a teleporter at the first autumn ship that we were creating, and we had the other teleporter on the other side of Forge World just in order to see what pieces we had to use and mirror in order to create the exact same replica of the uh, the autumn here. So yeah, the map is pretty expansive and pretty ambitious. Yeah, why don't we uh, talk about the, uh, you know, the happy little accident? The air vents. Yes, yes, the air vents, yes. Yes, we were uh, trying to create the engines of the uh, autumn ships and they were made out of, uh, what are they? Uh, these are bunker rounds. So yeah, we were just using those because they were the perfect shape for the engines at the time. And um, while forging, we kind of moved it into a position where we'd seen that uh, it could be a little secret little entrance. That's right. We just kind of kept it <laughs> as a little reward for players who kind of find it. Oh. And it could actually help out with the objective if you're sneaky enough and able to avoid all the barrage of sabers and grenadier falcons flying everywhere. Pretty much eliminating the map from just being very linear. Like you have multiple routes. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not just, you know, you can only enter through the hangars or the uh, the entrances from the Gossog areas. 
Um, you could actually go through the, the top back of the ship if you want, or you could go close to the front of the ship, which is another air vent entrance they could go to. And once you're in the air vents, you can either go to the back of the engines where the assault objective is, or jump into the hangar or the armory, which is a really good place to kind of distract the enemy team while you're uh, teammates are trying to activate the objective, which it, it really did work out pretty well. Indeed it did. We wanted like all the vehicles like face the ship so that way players have the immediate idea of where to go. Yeah, and same thing with the Gosshogs, you know, having it all facing the enemy ship as well. Yeah, so if you get behind the enemy ship, uh, you'll expect less resistance, but you can still get shot out of the sky by aircraft. Yep, and uh, through updates of, you know, trying to improve this map. We kind of try to put a little bit more space around the Saber so it's a little bit easier to fly out of the hangar. I mean, the Saber itself is always going to, like, crash once in a while from what I've from what I've experienced. There's times where people will just be staring at it 90 degrees from where they originally were looking. <laughs> yeah. The game uh, is not exactly symmetrical, though, because of it being, like, the whole Forge World canvas. Like, one ship is by the canyon, which, if you're smart and you have the bomb and a falcon, you're going to want to go fly into canyon and try to stay out of sight of the main battle. Oh yeah, that's what I do all the time. <laughs> that takes place, like, pretty much over island. And you can get out through Big Cave and kind of sneak up and around underneath uh, the ship by the waterfall. Honestly, you really have to. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty suicidal if you try to uh, push head on with everything happening. It's, it's absolutely madness. Especially with a huge dogfight going on with a bunch of sabers in the sky. It, it supports big team battle. It supports capture the flag. Uh, the main game type for this map is assault because it's just giving that illusion that, hey, you're going to the enemy ship and now you're going to bombard it from the inside of it. The capture the flag is kind of a nightmare, to be honest, <laughs> because you have to get in the Falcon, fly over there, grab the flag, and then fly back. But the thing is, you're trying to avoid enemy falcons and sabers the whole time, which... It might as well just be a one-way trip, yeah. But, I mean, the memories are flooding back, like, as we're talking about it. I I'm just glad this uh, this map actually became pretty well-known whenever we made it. And it, Honestly, it's a huge thing to uh, Green 4 at the time. It was, it was big in the custom game browser for a while. Oh, yeah. It really was. I, I knew at the time because Green 4, he was kind of blowing up with views. It was, I think it was at the time whenever he reviewed my Halo Wars map. Yep. That's when it became pretty big for his channel. So I, I kind of contacted Cleanser. I told him, hey, you know, we should probably talk to Green 4 about our UNSC fleet battle map. And uh, sure enough, you know, he joined the custom game browser with us and he made a video about it. And it's a pretty oh, yeah. good video. He had like a lot of close calls that uh, he had in uh, certain matches. And he kept it in the video, it was sure awesome. Yeah, yeah, he got some really good action shots. <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, this is definitely one of the maps I've I've always wanted to make, even before the, the Forge updates that have happened. You know, like having the fact that Sabres are even in this game now, it's just really cool to think about. Back in the day, that was just a dream I used to have. Like, oh man, it would be super cool if these vehicles are actually in the game, custom game mode wise. And uh, yeah, now it's a thing. Give us another couple of years, we'll make Sea of Thieves and Halo. Exactly. We'll make these flyable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for uh, coming along this time, Cleanser, and uh, maybe we could talk about some other maps that we've done together. Oh yeah, can't wait. And uh, if you haven't, uh, go check out Cleanser's channel. It's Cleanser of Noobs on YouTube. I build a lot of goofy things. Oh yeah. Pertaining to his Forge maps specifically. But, yeah, he's been around in you know, the forging community for a while now. It's so. been an honor. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat, Combat Evolved. Evolved. We'll see you next time. Bye.